here is our campsite for the first night at the uh, truck and tractor museum I mean the view right there is not so great and there's the back of the museum uh, there's one or two other campers here and the back view is actually not bad there's even picnic tables um, and they give you water and electric for 35 bucks a night this is where we are sleeping tonight first night of our Florida trip in November of 2023 the Keystone Antique Truck and Tractor Museum we're parked out back that's the gift shop and here's a bunch of stuff pictures and toys and the museums in here and they actually have a diner but unfortunately it's closing in five minutes so uh, yeah we'll take all right here's the tractor part of the museum apparently this is an acre of tractors and there's I think there's three acres there's cars and something else I don't know what the other thing is but there are a lot of tractors in here and this is the room with the trucks fire trucks and police cars and cars and And there's another you can see through the glass over there that's where the tractor trailers are there's even some bicycles way down there at the end of the hall I might be wrong but I could swear granddad said at one point that he had a Harley Davidson Hummer motorcycle which is what this is but Actually, all these are Harley Davidsons along here. Little Harley Davidsons. Obviously, way smaller than they make now. I mean, that's a little 250 maybe or something. Very small. And here's a bunch of Ford Thunderbirds. Oh, and there's a cool Bronco right here. All right, day two, and we're on our way to our next Harvest Coast, but we stopped at the Airborne and Special Operations Museum in Fayetteville, North Carolina, which I never even knew was here. And then we're going to walk around and check it out. This is the Harvest Host for night two. This is Ellerby Vegetable Farm. Um, and this is owned by a guy and his wife. Here's their farm and all the houses on both sides of the street around here are all his family. They own all these houses. And you can buy whatever vegetables and stuff they have growing. There's chickens and geese and cats and all kinds of stuff here. It's very, it's very nice. We just chatted with him for like a half hour. Super nice guy. Here's the view of the camper from back behind the little field. Apparently he has five fields and this is the smallest one. Like I said, these are all family. family. He has 15 brothers and sisters. And they have a lot of houses around here. Here's the local kitty cat. Oh. Here are the chickens. Sorry chickens, I don't have any food. I got nothing for you.
we made it to Florida. We're at Huguenot Park outside Jacksonville. And this is the view out of our back window from our campsite. Um, and Lisa's making dinner. We got some veggies from, uh, what's that? Collard greens. Collard greens that we got from that farm that we stayed at last night. And I don't think I've ever had collard greens before, so should be interesting. So I'll film some more about it. I mean, I actually we came here last year, so but I think the view out of this site's a little bit better than last year's site. Sun's coming up. Here is our campsite at Huguenot state park or county park jacksonville county park or jacksonville whatever anyway we have a nice little view of the water behind us lisa's inside working i just got a shower lots of little teeny bugs around though which get a little annoying but still i mean hard to beat the view this is Jonas jonathan dickinson state park just north of West Palm Beach so we uh, harvest hosted on the way down we stayed in uh, Huguenot for three nights now we're gonna stay here for three nights and then we're gonna go to Key West and this is our little campsite here. It's actually a really nice clean well-kept state park this is our campsite all gravel picnic tables even had a little wall to block the road away and then uh, here's some of the other campgrounds around. It's really hot though. It's like high 80s. It is October 31st, but it's going to be this hot. But I'll try to shoot more video. Here is the view from the little bench right by our uh, by our campsite. Right across the road from our campsite, there's a bench, and this is the view of the swamp. Supposedly there's alligators in here, but I haven't seen any yet. Um, there's a bunch of bicycling and and uh, mountain bike trails and I don't know. A lot, apparently, there's lots of stuff to do around here. I have to explore some more tomorrow. I just biked over to the Hobie Mountain Tower, which we're supposed to be able to see um, the ocean from it. And the, this mountain in quotations is the highest natural point south of Lake Okeechobee rising 86 feet above sea level on ancient sand dunes. There's a little, uh, now you can't see the tower anymore. I can just see it from the road, but there's a boardwalk at least. There's, there's the tower getting closer. Starting to get a view. I can see the ocean between some trees right there. Here is the view. A little windy up here. You can see the ocean. Some kind of... Uh, the other water right before the ocean, whatever that is. And there's the boardwalk, I think. The car's coming, that's the road I bicycled up. We're going to head over that way, and you can see some taller buildings way up there in the distance. They're uh, West Palm Beach, maybe? I don't know. And you got the rest of the park. No mountains in sight. I guess in Florida you're not going to see many mountains, but it is a cool view. I should be looking at the viewfinder before. I'm not very good at looking at the viewfinder when I'm taking video. So I probably get a lot of sky. This was a military base back in World War II people how to use radar apparently. Not very cool. I am riding the bike path down to the other campground, down to the lake. A river. There's a river. This is a river campground, although the campsites we're at are nowhere near the river. It's like five miles from the river, but they have this nice little bike path that leads down there. So I'm gonna ride down there and check out the other campground. Here is a turtle. He's just getting away. Where are you going? 
Oh, I scared him. He's hiding now. Yeah, he's good now. All right, this is the boat. This is the boat launch for the river in the park, which unfortunately I don't know the name of the river, but if you look, the water is right up, almost overflowing the dock. Here's the dock. And the water is like right here. I guess this is some kind of little cove where the boat launches, and then that's the river out there. And there's a second campground right up here around the corner. It looks just the same as the one we were at. All right, it's the Loxahatchee River, if that's how you say it. You are here. I'm not sure where we are, but we're on there somewhere. I don't know, maybe, maybe this is like a tidal river or something, because as we were standing on it, the water started coming up on the dock where we were standing. As you can see, the water is like running over it now coming onto it. So I guess it's time to get off the dock. On our way to Key West. We are an hour away. 52 minutes from Key West. Well, not from Key West. From the campground we're going to, but anyway, you know what I mean. And I don't know if this is a seven mile bridge or not, but it's a really big bridge. Yeah, see it goes down and then it goes over that way. Boyd's Key West. That's the campground we're at. <laughs> Here's some Key West chickens. There's another one up here, but here's our view. Here's the casita. Here's our view out the back. Not bad. I'm following you. This is like a uh, there's a little coffee shop right here. We just biked to five minutes from the campground. And just had a cup of coffee. All right, here's the southernmost point. Here's the line of people waiting to take their picture at the southernmost point. This is a special bar Lisa had to go to. <laughs> this was the bar we had to walk miles to get to. Miles. 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 <laughs> All right, here's a situation. It is. I don't want your mom to think this was my idea. Nine o'clock at night. And it's not my idea. Lisa made me stay out super late. I did not. You should have. It's very dark and I'm scared. No, you're not. And we have to bike it's back on. five miles in the dark, half drunk. We're not drunk. I'm not drunk. Okay. I'll follow Lisa because I am. <laughs> no, you're not. There's, there's someone biking. Tom. I have headlights <laughs> and taillights. Will we make it back to the campground? Nobody knows, but there was a really good country band, and we had to stay till 8:30. Royal South. It was awesome. Royal South. It's not even on. Is the until almost nine o'clock at night. Just give me my bike. Where do you want me Will we make it? No one knows. Here it comes. This is it. It's over. It's over, Johnny. Coming up. It's not super red today. It must be whatever makes it red isn't here. But it still looks nice. All right, this is the view of our campsite from the other side of the campground. I can't really see it on this little teeny screen, but you can see our camper right over there. Maybe is that it? The screen's way too little for me to see. But we're the little white camper right there, obviously. There's a little beach. And uh, here's the bay that we look out on from our campsite. Alright, somehow we just happened to stumble into the offshore powerboat racing something something. I don't know, I'm not sure exactly what it's called. But we're out on this jetty and the boats are going to race out there, but 
not for a while, so. Um, we're gonna see what else we can do. Here is a race boat that is gonna race later, I guess. Um, these are really kind of the first race boats we've seen <laughs> as we've been going around here, but yeah, it's pretty cool. This is actually <laughs> like the third piece of key lime pie we ate, <laughs> but I've never videoed any before. <laughs> and this is, I don't know, limes and pies or someplace like that. Because you have to have key lime pie when you're in Key West. How is it? Oh. What's your opinion? Oh, good. Yeah, it is really good actually. It's limey. <laughs> because all key lime pie <laughs> is limey. Last night here, heading out tomorrow morning. Key West this morning and now we're just south of Vero Beach at a Harvest Host Summer Crush Vineyard. And there's like a tasting room and I don't know, apparently they do concerts and stuff here. And they have all these sites for Harvest Host people. Um, if you pay, you can have electricity and water. Um, and it's like 88 degrees out so we got electricity so we could run the air conditioner but we're gonna run up and uh, do a little wine tasting up that way and then we're heading on to Savannah tomorrow there's only other two other campers here right now but they let you stay here multiple days too if you want to obviously you just have to pay but um, yeah, it's nice so far it's been very hot and crummy Miami traffic getting up here but whatever all right, we just did a wine tasting at the Harvest Host. All their wine is made with muscadine wine, grapes, muscadine grapes, which are, I don't know, are grapes that grow in the heat. In the heat, the only time. Um, but we got way too many bottles, and we got a cold bottle of Rated R. And then we got some Blue Crab Smoked Dip. So we're having some wine and hanging out by the little lake. The campers are back there behind the bush. It's a little lake. I think this is their music venue right over here, where they have them. They're having some big show tomorrow. Journey. Um, well, Journey isn't actually coming, but. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was good. So we got a bunch of bottles of wine and crab dip. There's our little camper from the gazebo. We're standing at the gazebo. There's all, I guess those are the grape vines over there. And we're not allowed to feed the alligators per Florida statute 372.667. No feeding or molesting the alligators, Lisa. So yeah, it's a fun place. Unfortunately, we didn't know about it or we could have stayed. There's bands the next two nights. Classic rock cover bands. We didn't even know about all right, yep. we're at the vineyard, and now we're making dinner, baby. Fish, fresh fish that we just got in Key West, and yellowtail snapper. Yellowtail snapper caught by the guy who I bought it from. Yeah, see that? Mm -hmm. and the sun's uh, sun's down, but the sun was setting right over there. And there's the vineyard right over there. And there's the chef making dinner. Here we are at the Savannah KOA. And it's much colder here. It's like, I don't know, low 60s maybe when it was in the 80s when we were in Florida. But um, it's not too bad. Went out last night, watched the Penn State game right here by the edge of the campground. And there's actually a little bit of a lake right over there. It's Sunday morning, so a lot of people have left or are leaving. But, eh. It's perfectly nice. Here comes Lisa, coming back from getting a shower. And uh, we're going to head into Savannah today, I think. We have two full days here, so today and tomorrow. It's very cloudy and a little chilly, so hopefully the weather will be nice for tomorrow. This is 
the Savannah waterfront. It's warm. We just stopped in and got coffee and... It's a warm penguin with a pecan in it. You have uh, to taste it. Alright. And I, we did a mead tasting at another place. So I did a mead tasting. So here's the river. The giant container ship. And here is the waterfront. Okay, this is morning breakfast. We're having coffee in the French press. I'm not really sure how to do this. I can't even see the screen without glasses. Okay, so how's it going, Tom? I'm good. I'll tell you, Tom, looking so happy in the morning. Can't wait to drive in all the traffic. Here he goes. I was supposed to be pouring right in the coffee. Does that not smell delicious? Okay, maybe what you hear is delicious. So here on our last day, we're going from Weldon Mills Distillery, which was awesome yesterday, in here in North Carolina, and we're going all the way home to Shelfont. Sporting the We Are hat. Look at this one. And the place is a little messy as we get ready to go. It's 6 a.m. I'm having oatmeal. And Tom had yogurt. And he's finishing up his Cheerios. Adios for now.